Hi gang! In this video, we're going to make a double needle top stitch brush so we can finish up this pair of jeans. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you'd take a minute to like and subscribe. To start off, I'd like to make this brush in the correct scale for these jeans so I don't have to do any editing once I've applied it. So let's start by selecting my current stitches and seeing what size I've used. If we select them and go to the appearance panel, actually we could just go straight to the stroke panel for this one. We can see that my stroke weight is 0.25, the ends are round, and my stitch length is 1.5 with a one point gap. So in order to match that, we're gonna grab the line segment tool and draw a line segment that is 1.5. So 1.5 and we want the angle to be zero and click okay. And it's super tiny, so we're gonna zoom in really close. We wanna make sure that it's got round caps which it does, and that is a line weight of 0.25, or stroke weight of 0.25. Now we are going to select it, hold the Alt or Option key, and your Shift key, and we're gonna drag out another one. And as far as how far away, that's a visual, and you can kind of guesstimate what feels right to you. This feels good to me. I wanna make sure that neither of these strokes have a fill, and now we can create a brush. I'm gonna open up my brushes, click the icon for new brush. We're gonna make a pattern brush, click okay. Now when this window opens, we've got a few changes to make. First, let's name it. All right, it's a double needle brush. We wanna make sure that the corners are gonna work. So let's drop down and select the corner we like. And of these choices, I like auto sliced the best. So I'm gonna go with that one. And we need to do the same thing for the other corner. This is the outer corner, this is the inner corner. So we're gonna drop down and select auto sliced again. I'm not gonna worry about the end and the start of this particular brush because it's already pretty clean. I do want to change the colorization method. If we leave it on none, this is always gonna be a black brush. But if we change it to tints, we'll be able to control the color of the stitches. And now we can click okay. Let's go ahead and draw a path to test out the brush. And let's select it. Now I've got dashed line on here, so let's turn it off so we can see how the brush looks. And we can see there is still something missing. We have it included spacing. So I'm gonna double click on the brush to open it back up. And we are gonna change spacing from zero to 50% and click okay. And now we have a brush that looks much better. It's asking me if I want to apply it to the stroke I've already put here. Sure, why not? And now we've got our stitch. Now when you apply stitches to a garment, it's not just about selecting the brush, but we also want to make sure that the stitches do not have a fill. So since I've got this path here with my stitches applied, I've removed the fill, let's turn this into a graphic style. We'll open the graphic styles, and with it selected, click New. And this is now my double needle stitch. Now that I've got it created, let's finish up my jeans. Now all the areas that I want the double stitch on, I went ahead and did in pink so it would be easy to select them. I'm gonna grab my group selection tool since these are already nicely grouped together. I'm gonna select one of these pink lines and now we can go up to select, same, appearance or we could do stroke color since that's the main difference between these strokes and everything else. Let's go with stroke color. And now it's selected all of my pink strokes. I can go over to my graphic styles and apply my double needle top stitch. Now you'll notice that they turned black, which is interesting because didn't we set the stitches so that it would adjust the color? We did, but here's the thing. When we created the graphic style, 
we created it from a stitch that was already black. So it applied a black stitch to this. But don't worry, you can still change the color. If we select one piece, and again, we go up to select, same, this time we'll select appearance, it selected again all of my double stitches. If we wanna change the color, all we need to do is open up our swatches panel, make sure we have the stroke selected, and click a new color. And now all of the stitches that we use that brush for are the color we changed our stroke to. And that's how you do it. If you learned something new, I'd really appreciate a like. I'm trying to grow my channel and I need your help. So thanks in advance for liking and subscribing. See you next time.